and you teach a lot about uh, the Bible teachings and how that relates to your diet. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Well, basically, uh, the, our Creator created us and knows us so well. He still knows every hair on our head. And I believe he's smarter than we are. And in Genesis 129 of the Bible, he says the food for man is fruits and vegetables. And uh, they, he does mention other things later on, but uh, that is plan A for man is fruits and vegetables. And so I'm going to stick to plan A and I've been doing that. And uh, everything he says, even besides diet, is uh, beneficial for our health. And, you know, including uh, the non-diet things like getting enough rest and not getting stressed. And he teaches us how to do that. And you know, I know we have a creator and he wants us not to suffer the same diseases as the people that aren't listening as to his instructions. So I do my best to listen and teach his guidelines and instructions. And I do believe the Bible is the world's greatest health book. And I had somebody ask me the other day, and they wanted me to ask you, how would you respond to the people who say, well, why was Jesus eating fish in the Bible? Well, because fish is what they had. They lived near the ocean. Uh, he wasn't uh, uh, a nutritionist. His idea wasn't here to come pe teach people about uh, nutrition. He was our savior who set us free and died for our sins, something we deserved, the death sentence, he set us free. And uh, he was in a situation where they were near the sea, they were near the ocean, and uh, it's not a sin to eat fish, and he could never sin. So uh, he ate fish and he, you know, he ate fruits and vegetables as well. He ate bread as well. You gotta understand the fish the bread and everything else back then wasn't the same way it is today. It's not a sin to eat these things. I personally choose not to. We're not commanded to eat fish, but uh, if we choose to eat it and we do it within the guidelines of our Creator, and you want to settle for Plan B, great. But I settle for Plan A, the fruits and the vegetables, as found in Genesis 129. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? No, I just want to encourage everyone to, uh, to, to try it before you deny it. I'm talking about the instructions of our Creator, Genesis 129, fruits and vegetables as the majority or complete part of your diet. And you'll feel the benefit and see the amazing changes. And don't stop there because there's many other important instructions and guidelines that our Creator gives us for our benefit. And if you just read the Bible, you'll see that. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world Messiah people seek the truth